Hi, this is a quick video to show you the boiler I just got done building for my wood stove in my shop. Uh, zoom in on it here a little bit. It's a, a galvanized tank made that's two foot square on the front, 36 inches long. Then I've got a small 20 inch fan in the back that's run through a thermostat on the wall and it kicks on at 70 degrees and then there's another thermostat that's digital that is hooked up to the water pump. The water pump takes water out of the top, runs it through this pipe, down through a pipe that I cut a hole in the side, two holes in the, each side of the stove the water runs through over to the other side and then it goes into this box which sits on the front of the stove here that holds about five gallons of water and there's a divider in the middle of this box so the water actually has to travel down this direction here and around back down through this pipe and then it goes back through another piece of this inch and a quarter schedule 40 where the the flames basically give it one last quick burn goes into these stainless flex hoses down this pipe and then over into the back where it goes into the bottom of the the boiler tank and fills the tank full of water and the tank plus all the plumbing and this box on top holds about 80 gallons and what it does is, um, I've got it set right now after doing a little playing with it on the thermostat. Um, the pump kicks on at 135 degrees, and I've got it shutting off at 155 degrees. So what it does is you get a fire built in the stove, like you got now. What it'll do is it boils the water in the, this pipe, this pipe, and in the box. When it gets to a certain temperature, this uh, probe sending unit that goes down through this cable to the thermostat kicks the pump on, and then the pump pumps the water through the system, and this water that's right now we're setting at about 135. Over here in the tank itself, it's about 115, 117 degrees right now. What it'll do is it goes through the system and then it'll put this hot water into the tank. And then when the temperature in the shop gets up to about 70, the fan kicks on and it blows all the hot air out through these boiler tubes out into the shop and it's worked a, really a whole lot better than I thought it was going to because uh, I'll basically have the fire stop about five or six o'clock in the evening and I'll shut the stove down and then when the fire goes out and the water quits boiling and, and getting hot for the day I can still come out here in the morning at between like 7.30 and 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm still at a good 100 degrees of water temperature in this box and it's been radiating through the shop the whole night instead of just having the stove go out and the, the shop starts getting cold. Now this thing sits here and radiates all night long and the temperature in the shop, if you can see that, it's right now it's at 71. Usually um, in the past, the past five years of just having the wood stove, uh, when I get to, get to work in the morning, um, it would be about 50 to 55 degrees in here, and then I'd have to start a fire and, and heat the shop up. Now, the lowest it's been getting with this boiler setup is 60. And also, when I get a fire started, since I've already got warm water in it, 
it doesn't take very long for this water to get up to 120, 130 degrees and that doesn't sound like a whole lot for it being a boiler but it's, it's plenty warm if you're standing here with your hand in front of these feeling this warm air blow out all through the shop. It's, uh, it's really done a, a quite, a, quite a difference on the temperature in the shop and I'm going through a whole lot less wood it seems like than I have been and it, it just seems like it's working really well and I was just going to share that with everybody. Um, like I said, there's the boiler and there's the old wood stove and if you can hear that right now the thumping that's going on in this box what's happened is the water temperature had gotten down to where the pump shut off and then this will sit here and basically percolate or boil for a couple of minutes until it gets up to like right now it's going up to we're at 160 what that'll do is it now it's kicked the pump on if you see the little green dot between the arrows there that means the pumps kicked on now it'll take that five or so gallons of really hot water shoot them back down into the tank and keep the tank heated um, it's, it's basically on its own now I don't have to sit and babysit it uh, the thermostat on the wall takes care of the fan so if it gets cold in the, at night whenever the temperature in the shop gets down below 70 that shuts off on its own and then the thermostat over here on the side takes care of the pump so the pumps not running all the time and I don't have to sit here and turn it on turn it off either it, it sits there and does its thing I can take off um, leave the shop don't have to worry about anything boiling overflowing uh, getting too hot getting too cold anything like that it, it seems like it's doing a really good job and the one last thing I was going to tell you is that I had to sit the, the boiler box here on a piece of two inch foam to keep it insulated from the floor because I was thinking at first that maybe this heated box would radiate heat out into the concrete and maybe heat the floor in the shop up kind of like a radiant floor heating and actually there's too much concrete and not enough of this box to do that and it was just being a big, a big heat sink taking all the heat out of the box so I had to um, drain the tank and pick it back up and stick the styrofoam insulation board underneath of it and since then like I said it's, it stays warm the tank still got heat in it in the morning um, and it's working really good